Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Mega love shout out all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please. <laughs> Subscribe to like, leave a comment, subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. And three, like. Leave a comment, subscribe, and four, subscribe, all right, our lesson for today, okay, thank you, our lesson for today is about factoring trinomial using mama table. Okay, so let's review. Alright, so our first term is y and y, which is y squared. Our outer terms is y times 4 is 4y. Our inner term, which is 2 times y, is 2y. And our last terms is 2 times 4 equals 8. So, if we're going to combine like terms, that's 2y plus 4y, that will become 6y. So, in this lesson, we will begin with y squared plus 6y plus 8 as our problem and finish with y plus 2 and y plus 4 as our answer. So, that's, good. that's where we go back to our original give. Okay, so here we go. Uh, factor y squared plus 6y. So using the factoring chart, we have, do we have uh, DCF? No. Is it difference of squares problem? No way. It's three terms. Now we will learn trinomials and you will set up the table with the following information. So we have here uh, the product of the first and the last coefficient and of course the middle term now our goal is to find two factors in the first column that add up uh, to the middle term in the second column and we'll work it out in the next few slides all right so we have here uh, factor y squared plus 6y so if we're going to multiply no, the factors of 8, we have 2 and 4. If we are going to add, do we, get, we have 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Yes, no? Now, how will we now replace the middle term of the trinomial uh, with our working numbers from the mama table? So, or we call it multiply and add. That's why it's mama. <laughs> multiply an odd table okay so we have y squared plus 6y plus 8 so this is now our middle term all right okay then we have uh we add now because we add the common 
okay? Now group the first two terms and the last term, so that's it. Okay, so let's have another. Uh, we have m factor y squared plus 6y plus 8 and create your mama table. And that's it. So we have uh, the product of the first and last coefficient, which is positive 8. And then mid the middle coefficient, so we have 6. Okay, so here's your test. Why, uh, what numbers multiply to passive 8 and to 6? So if you cannot uh, figure it out right away, uh, write the combinations. Okay, so here. So we have uh, 8 times 1. Uh, if we're going to add that, you, you, you will get. Okay, so we have negative 1 and negative 9. So here, also these are the multiples or the factors of 8. So negative 2 and 4 will get you to uh, also 8. So which has a sum of 6? Of course, 9, no. Negative 9, no. And positive 6, yes. And negative 6 is no. So we have only positive 6. So that means our factors is 2 and 4 to get the 6. Okay. Now, what are we going to with the number next? We have two groups now. And that is y squared plus 2y plus 4y plus 8. So, almost done. Find the DCF of the group. So, the DCF is y and 4. So, if things are done right, the parentheses should be the same. Okay, so let's factor the group. So that's we have y plus 4 and y plus 2. So the da, your answer is y plus 4 plus 2. So you can check it by multiplying. Piece of cake. It's a shortcut for some problems too. I'm not showing you that yet. Okay. So we have here, okay, so factor x squared plus 2x plus y so create your mama table okay so i have here um of course it's negative 63 so find the product of the last and the coefficient of course so remember signs negative 3 and 1 negative 1 and 63 that's also negative 1 the negative 21 and 3 negative 3 and 21 and negative 9 times 7 is also 63 and se negative 7 times 9 is also 63. Now here, negative, um, negative 63 and 1 is negative 63. Oh, that's type, uh, yeah, you, if you are going to get the sum, you subtract, that's negative 62. This one is 62, it's positive. This one, negative 21 plus 3 it's negative 18 and 21 minus 3 is 18 and then negative 9 plus 7 would get negative 2 and negative 7 plus 9 is 2 so our answer is negative 2 okay so let us replace the middle term with our working numbers so we have x squared minus 2x plus 63 so our working number, so x squared minus 9x plus 7x minus 63. Then group the terms. Uh, factor out the GCF. The GCF is x. Okay, so then divide. So we have uh, x minus 9. So the parentheses are the same, no? So the factors are x plus 7 and x minus 9. Okay. Right, so here are the hints to help you choose your factors in a MAMA table. First, when the last term is positive, the factors will have the same sign as the middle term. And when the last term is negative, the factors will have the different signs. Uh, we have another here. So we have 5x squared minus 7x plus 14. Okay, so if, if we're going to create uh, our mama table, so we have 
multiply and add. So, the product of the first and last. So, where we get the 70? So, 5 times 14 is 70. And then, if we are going to subtract, we must get negative 70 in the middle. Okay? So, we have here uh, negative 1 times negative 20, 70 will get the negative 2 and negative 35. So, these are the factors of positive 70. Now, if we are going to add, so negative 1 plus negative 70, we get neg negative 71. A negative 2 plus negative 17 is negative 7, 37. And if we are going to get negative 7 and negative 10, that's we have negative 17. Then let us replace a middle term. So that's we have 5x squared minus 7x minus 10x. So that's 14. So if we are going to group the terms, then we need to group the terms. So we have 5x squared minus 7x and then negative 10x plus 14. So factor out the GCF. Of course, the GCF is x for 5 squared and then for 10x plus 14 is negative 2. So then the parentheses are the same. Yes. Okay, so x minus 2 and 5x minus 7. So hopefully, this will continue to get easier the more you do uh them okay so the same here factor x 2x squared minus 14x plus 12 find a gcf first which is 2 and then the, do now do the mama table so for 6 okay 2 times 12 is equals to 24 but but since we have here 6 only so we will get we get that 6 from here no, so dito, dito na natin kinuha yan. And then, so we got the which signs needs to be the same as the middle sign and the product is positive. So, we have negative 7. Okay, so we got negative 7. So, let's, let's replace the middle term. So, we have x squared minus x minus x plus. Even, and then, we have to group them. So, find the factors. Okay, so we have... Uh, x minus 1 and so the the one parentheses are the same so we have don't forget to follow your factoring chart when doing this problem so always look for GCF first so for questions and clarifications please leave the comment at your comment section so remember gratitude is the best attitude and before I go please don't forget to like share and subscribes for this channel okay bye bye everyone god bless you all grade eight love you my teams organic barcadas uh tim solid family ydc international love you all love love love